Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the different types of corn pests, how they affect our plants, and the ways of managing them. Corn, which is also known as maize, is one of the most widely cultivated crops throughout the Americas. Maize can be attacked by a wide range of insects, which we are going to be discussing in details in this presentation. Insect pest populations is greatly influenced by weather and other natural phenomena, cause variable crop losses from year to year. Insect pests of corn, the fall armyworm, also known as Podoptera frugiperda. They deposit their eggs on the leaves of grasses and corn plants. Larvae hatch a week later and develops over a period of approximately three weeks. Damage is observed most frequently in no-till fields. They are a very deleterious pest capable of destroying entire crops in a matter of weeks. It gets its name from its habits of marching large numbers from grasslands into crops. They occur at very high densities during the raining season, especially after periods of prolonged drought. During the long dry season, they are very low in density. The moth live for about 10 days, and the female can lay a maximum of 1,000 eggs per lifetime. The first symptom of damage is ragged feeding on the top leaves with wet brown pellets in the area. The caterpillars hide inside the hole during the day and are especially found and are usually found by unrolling the innermost leaves at night, they emerge and feed on leaf tissue. Another pest of corn is the European corn borer. Historically, European corn borer has been a very significant pest of field corn. Over the past years, their population dropped significantly. The cause is unknown, but may be due to the use of biologically engineered varieties. The BT hybrids, or the biologically engineered hybrids, are very effective for controlling this pest species. Its caterpillars damage the ears of the corn, as well as the stalks by shoeing tunnels which cause the plants to fall over. The corn borer is, is described to be one inch long with a one inch wingspan. The female is light yellowish brown with dark irregular wavy bands across the wings. The male is slightly smaller and darker in coloration. Corn earworm, which is another pest of corn, also known as Helicovor pedzia, is a major pest of late season corn and is responsible for a large percentage of grayed out corn. They feed on almost exclusively on the tip of the ears, leaving no visible damage on the husks or the leaves. There are four stages in the corn earworm's life cycle. The moth lay eggs, which then hatch into larvae. After feeding for two to four weeks, the larvae becomes pupa. In cold climates, larvae are typically killed by frost before pupation. When corn earworms are present, all sweet corn with exposed silk is susceptible to damage. Earworms normally feed on the kernels of sweet corn. Growers are responsible for checking ears at harvest and call the damaged ones regularly. Another pest of corn is the corn leaf aphid, which is known as the Rufa pellucifum maidus. It's found throughout the United States and southern Canada. This pest is a native species. Though it's abundant from June to November, all phases of its cycle are not fully understood. It's a minor pest in field corn grain production, but is sometimes a major importance in seed production. Corn leaf aphids feed on sorghum, corn, small grains and other grasses. Some years populations are numerous on small grain seedlings in October and cause reduced yields. They are also known vectors of barley yellow dwarf virus. From early July until fall, colonies of corn leaf aphids can be found on or near tassels or war leaves in most corn fields. Some fields may have, to, may have up to 50% plant infestation level, but this is extremely rare. Periods of dry season seems to favor increases in aphid numbers and resulting plant damage. Dry conditions add stress to corn plants and also prevent the development of fungal pathogens that infect and kill the aphids. Corn leaf aphids feed by sucking sap from upper leaves and tassels. The infected tassels become covered with sticky substance called honeydew that dips into, onto the leaves and silks. Pollination probably is affected by honeydew covered silks. Heavily infected leaves and tassels may wilt and turn brown. A few weeks after the initial infestation, plants will have a black sooty appearance due to a sooty fungus that develops and thrives on the honeydew excreted by the aphids. Although a few colonies of leaf aphids are present, present in just about every corn field in the state, 
each year. Their damage is generally of little economic importance except in seed corn production. They are normally controlled by environmental factors such, uh, such as the parasitic wasps, a fungal disease, lady beetles, and few fly larvae. Corn plants are almost frequently injured by the aphids during the late world or pollen shed stage. If 50% or more of the plants are infested with, with colonies of 75 aphids, aphids each during these stages, treatment is warranted. Management of pests Since losses from insects may be high one year and of little consequence the next, growers use a system for monitoring fields and making control decisions. Crop rotation provides effective control of corn, rootworms, and helps reduce several other corn pests. Poor weed control increases the possibility for pests to appear in most cases. Removing weeds at, at least two weeks before planting reduces the possibility of these problems. Biologically engineered corn hybrids that produce an insecticidal toxin from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis provide the modern method for managing pests such as European corn borer and some caterpillar species. Here are some fun facts about corn. Farmers grow corn in every continent except Antarctica. One bushel of corn will sweeten more than 400 cans of Coca-Cola. There are about 800 kernels in 16 rows on each ear of corn. The corn cob, or the ear of the corn, is actually part of the corn's plant flower. The main ingredient in the most dry pet food is corn. Corn is America's number one field crop. Corn leads all, model, all other crops in value and not volume of production. A pound of corn consists of approximately 1,300 kernels. Corn is also used to produce fuel alcohol. Fuel alcohol makes gasoline burn cleaner, reducing air pollution, and it does not pollute the water. Thank you so much for watching, here are all my references, I hope you enjoyed my video.